mentioned being physical with them, getting your hands on them, trying to frustrate them. Was that anything you felt like you were able to do, or did that uh, not yeah. pay at, at, at times, you know, you can see a little frustration in his face. But, you know, he, like I said, he don't talk or nothing, so you can just see it. And uh, that's what we just kept trying to do, get hands on, get hands on, just to uh, disrupt timing and uh, get him frustrated. You had a third down breakup late in the game that at the time seemed like it might have been kind of big, but then they converted on fourth mm -hmm. down and scored. But you know, talk about that play a little bit. The, the um, I mean, like you say, I you know I study film a lot, you know, and I, especially on him, and I, I just knew that slant was coming. And I, like I just played my technique and broke, make the play. What told you that slant was coming? Just his alignment, just studying the film, seeing where he lined up, and knowing what down and you know down the distance is, and uh, just knew that was coming. When you face a receiver like that, does it require maybe more study? Than oh yeah, might? no question. You got to, man. I, I was up at home. I come from uh, practice, go home, study like extra hours, two, three hours extra, you know, just to make sure I have him down pack. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job. And on a short week too. In a short week, so <laughs> that's good.